Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss what is detention and how you, as an independent truck dispatcher, might be dealing with it. Detention is a huge problem for the trucking industry. However, before we discuss this further, let's define what detention is. Detention is a compensation to a motor carrier paid for detaining or delaying their trucks at shippers or receivers beyond a reasonable time. In simple words, if your client's truck was sitting at the shipper or at the receiver longer than what is considered to be reasonable time, then your client is eligible for some sort of compensation, technically. Now, first, what is this reasonable time? Well, the industry standard is two hours for loading and two hours for unloading. So, if it takes longer than two hours to load a truck, you could, again, technically request detention. In the same way, if it takes longer than two hours to unload your client's truck, you again could technically request a detention. So you may ask, why am I using a word technically all the time? Well, while your client should receive detention if his or her truck is being detained, it does not always happen. First of all, detention will be governed by the broker carrier agreement, basically agreement signed between a freight broker and a motor carrier. So if you read through the agreement, you might be able to find terms as to when and how much your client will be compensated. Some brokers will have their terms clearly outlined. It will state, if truck is delayed for more than two hours at loading or unloading, we will pay $35 an hour. So now you know what to expect. And if your client's truck is being delayed, you just have to notify the broker and they should, based on the agreement, pay you out detention onto your client. However, as you do read through terms of and conditions in the broker carrier agreement or a rate confirmation, you may discover that broker will only pay detention after four hours of a truck being detained. Or on some loads, they may clearly state that they will not pay detention, period, uh, no matter what. And unfortunately, in such case, you will not be able uh, to demand any compensation because you have agreed to the fact that they will not be compensating your client. So if you want to know if your client will be compensated and how much your client might be compensated for, you need to read through terms and conditions, which will be outlined either in a broker carrier agreement or on a load rate confirmation. Alternatively, you may ask a broker at the time of booking a load as to Mr. or Mrs. Broker, will you be paying detention on this load and at what rate? And speaking of rates, at the time of me making this video, rates for detention range from $25 to $50 an hour. And while $50 an hour may sound like a pretty great rate, for sitting and doing nothing, it still creates a huge problem for trucking industry in general and for you and your client in particular. Let me provide you with an example to prove my point. Let's imagine that your client's truck is coming in for a delivery at 10 a.m. in the morning. Your client is waiting for two hours to get unloaded. It's already noon, but nothing has happened yet. You are reaching out to a broker, tell him about the situation, and broker tells you, no need to worry. We will pay you detention after two hours, and as a matter of fact, we will pay it at $50 an hour. Now, your client's truck is further delayed for another four hours, and then it's finally unloaded. Now, your client will receive a new rate confirmation with extra $200 added to the rate. So everything seems to be pretty great. However, we need to look at it from a little bit different perspective. Your client has lost six hours 
out of their workday. They came in to get unloaded at 10 a.m. They waited, waited for two hours till noon to discover that they're not being unloaded. And then it took another four hours to get the truck empty. It is 4 p.m. now. More than likely, the next load you booked for them has already canceled because your truck wasn't empty and couldn't come and pick it up. So you have to find another load. And since it's already pretty late in the afternoon, you may or may not find a suitable load. If you don't find one, your client have lost entire day of work. And even if you do find one, your client will be uh, limited on the number of hours they can still drive to deliver this load. So now, instead of generating, let's say, $1,500 in revenue, your client got measly $200. And that is definitely not a good scenario for them. That is why detention is a huge problem. It affects your client's productivity and realistically costs them a lot of money. Another big problem with detention is the fact that you will not always going to be able to collect it because freight brokers will do whatever they can in order not to pay your clients. Now, there are a couple of things you can do in order to increase your chances of getting detention. Number one, talk to the freight broker in advance. Ask them if they will pay detention and at what rate. This already sets the expectation uh, from you that you will be demanding some sort of a compensation if your client's truck will be detained. So broker will know about it and probably will act accordingly. Number two, keep track of time and properly communicate. As two hour mark approaches and your client's truck is not loaded or unloaded, you may want to call the broker and notify them also via email that truck is not being unloaded and it has been two hours and you expect to get detention for every hour afterwards. It happened to us when a client called in five hours later saying, oh, well, I just got unloaded. Can you get me some sort of a detention? Yes, we will try to get your detention, but it would have been much better if you told us about this at the two hour mark, because then we can notify the broker and we're gonna tell Mr. Broker, it's going to cost you money for our truck sitting there. And what that usually does, freight broker calls the shipper or the receiver and says, hey, you know, it's gonna cost some money. You know, we need to get this truck moving so it can't speed up the process in some cases. But without proper communication, none of that is going to happen. So please tell your clients, or drivers of your clients that as soon as they realize that they're not being loaded or unloaded in a timely manner, they have to let you know. Another thing that should be done, you need to ask your client or their driver to have their in and out times noted on the bills of lading. So when they came in to the facility, it needs to say, let's say 10 a.m., as it was in our example. If they're leaving at 4 p.m., they need to ask the receiver or shipper to stay to write 4 p.m. and preferably sign next to it as they are out time when they left the facility. This way it's clear on the freight documents what was their arrival time and what was their departure time. This gives you some sort of framework for request, uh, requesting the compensation. Also, I would like to point out that if your client will be late for their pickup or delivery appointment, more than likely they will not be compensated for any kind of delays because they will be blamed for not coming in on time and therefore not being loaded or unloaded on time. And while you can still ask for detention in such situation, you may want to go ahead and explain to your client that they didn't come on time and therefore broker more than likely will not be compensating them. Now that we got this concept, let's see what you need to do next in order to actually get your client paid. I'm gonna to refer to our initial example of truck coming in at 10 a.m and getting empty at 4 p.m. So at this point, we are going to assume that you notified 
broker at noon that your truck is being delayed broker told you that yes we are going to pay $50 an hour so at 4 p.m you are being owed $200 in detention pay so at this point you want to reach out to a freight broker and say Mr. or Mrs. Broker uh, our truck just got empty we would like to request four hours of detention could you please resend to us a rate confirmation with detention being noted there? What that means is that broker should issue a new rate confirmation and add $200 to previously agreed rate. So the rate that your client was getting for the load now should be higher by $200. If you're dealing with a good and reputable broker, they will probably generate such, ra such rate confirmation right away, email it to you, and your client can proceed with billing this load and receiving this extra $200. However, if you're dealing with a less reliable broker who may not want to pay you detention, they may start coming, out with, coming up with all kind of excuses from that they first have to get it approved by their client to God knows what. In such scenario, it is important that you stay on this broker, which means if they do not send you one uh, rate confirmation right away, call them in an hour, call them in two hours, call them tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Make sure that they understand you are not going to leave this issue alone because some of them actually hoping that you will forget about it, that your client will go ahead and build this load as it is without the compensation being added and they will save themselves a couple of hundred dollars. So if possible, advise your client to wait and not build this load and stay on this particular freight broker for as long as you can. So by now, I hope you have a little bit better understanding of what detention is and how you may be dealing with it. If you have any other questions, please post them in the comments and we will try to answer them for you. And with that being said, we are going to wrap up this video and I will see you next time.